All right, I'm going to ask you a heavy question, and, but, and if it's too yeah. uncomfortable, we can skip it. Not at all. All right. But I was wondering what need might have gone unmet for you as a kid? Man, that's, you know, I think a, a lot about, uh, there was, there's a need that was unmet. I wish I'd learn, you know, like, I really needed to figure out a way to deal with things other than getting pissed and fighting, you know, <laughs> or feeling like fighting the answer, being aggressive was the answer, you know, like, because I definitely said, you know, like, I mean, I wasn't a violent person or anything like that, but, you know, like high school, I definitely, definitely did some scrapping and definitely took a few ass kickings. And, uh, you know, none of it ever solved a goddamn thing. Uh, yeah, that's the thing about that. <laughs> yeah. And none of it, you know, and I just wish that, you know, I think that, that need of, of having a way to, you know, conflict resolution skills. Yeah. Or yeah. just not, or just not just, you know, I guess, yeah. I mean, I, I guess it more is of just letting shit go. Yeah. Not letting things like, you know, not anger. Anger is, the, you know, the opposite of what, you know, you should be, be it doing. It just never know, results kind of in any fucking positive. No, ever. Never. Even to like, that's mm -hmm. why people like will send me shit. Or even today, this guy wants me to try his product. It's a software. And mm -hmm. he found me online. And I guess because it's like a podcast related product. And I said, listen. Right, right. I said, thank you very much, but I don't have a need for this particular thing. All right. And uh, instead of saying nothing, he goes, well, that's okay. Just give it a test drive and see what you think. And like my knee jerk reaction was, do you fucking understand English? No is, and I, and I said, no, th I said like, you're, I was like, I'm going to write to him and say he's a pushy fucker. And I said, don't do that. What are you? What are you going to do with that energy once it's released? It, it's you're going to be miserable. And I said, but I, I had, you have to like walk through this because people are just idiots sometimes and they're narcissists. You know, it's like, oh, but I need you to do. I don't even know you, motherfucker. You're not paying me. What? I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, it's great that you need me to give you a free evaluation of your software that I have no use for. <laughs> and. and but, right, but right. that's a little nothing. Yeah, so I understand. It is, but like, why? You know, I, why? You know, I, I'd let that shit bother me all day, dude. This is know? four hours ago. It happened. I'm still yeah. pissed about it. I refer but, to it as the monkey stew. Yeah, monkey runs up the ladder, comes up here, starts stirring it, and he runs down. Then up in the late at night, he runs up the ladder again. And he's stirring it up. <laughs> I like oh, that. Just, what are you? What are you over there, monkey stewing about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, but yeah, that's a, that's an important, what, yeah, what? letting it go, man. I wish I, I wish I'd had someone tell me how to let it go. Were your, was your dad like Other hot headed? Than, what's that? Was your dad hot headed? What? No, dad chills, but mom pretty hot headed. Oh, so that's kind of where, yeah, so that's, you know, family from. failing. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, through, through all that, you know, like it's generational. Sure. Of course. You it's, know. it's all generational unless, until yeah, you stop yeah, it. Isn't it, isn't it though? Until you stop <laughs> it. Uh, until you stop you know, it. Yeah, 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 man. It's funny because my son, um, my middle, younger son, middle child, he sent me this thing. It was like seven questions that you ask your dad. And I said, hey, oh. and they were all pretty heavy. And I said, hey, listen, how about, and I don't need, I didn't know if you wanted to answer him. He just sent me like a little video. He saw. And I said, how, how about this, man? I said, I, I want to, I'll answer them. I'll make a video for you so you can hang on to these videos. And if you want to play them in the future, but I'll give you my honest answer. And one of the questions he asked, this was interesting. One of the questions in there was, um, what do you want or wish most for your kids? And I started answering it and I said, you know what? This is not relevant because they didn't have a fucked up childhood. <laughs> like I'm answering it as if they had my child. And I'm like, I, I this is going to be meaningless to him. Like, I, I want you to feel safe. Of course he fucking feels safe. Why would he not feel safe? Right. <laughs> I've never put a hand on him. Right. No one's ever put a hand on him. I mean, like, 
right no one's ever been like rough and I, i'm like well i want you to feel like you're loved I'm like of course he feels like he's loved that's why he asked me these questions you know this isn't like right. a conversations i'd have with my father or mother you know because i didn't have that and so i, I felt very good uh, you know you, you you get limited feedback from your kids when they're older, which mine are older now, he's 31, and they, he started giving me feedback. Both, you know, my older ones do. And even my daughter does. But um, those fucking ghosts, it, you got to get, it's a lot of work to get rid of those things, man. Man. And I've spent a ton of my adult life trying to get rid of them. Well, that, uh, and I'm a, if you've seen the movie No Country for Old Men or read the book, no oh, country yeah, for old yeah. men. With the um, okay, Tommy uh, Lee Jones at the end. Yes, I always thought there'd be a point that God had come into my life, and it would take care of this. And like, you know, that that says so much. I mean, Cor I've 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 really tried to read everything Cormac McCarthy's done since like seeing you know seeing that movie read and then read and then I went back with all the westerns and everything. But uh, that that thing is so telling of. An, you know, uh, an adult at, uh, of, you know, at a certain age, I'm just very like, man, you know, I'm, I still feel this. I mean, I might not be as dumb as I was in my twenties, but man, I'm still, I still feel like I'm the same guy. And when I think of myself, I look like that guy. I don't look like this guy, <laughs> you know, and like that. And I always just thought this wisdom and this sure, you know, like being sure of yourself and being able to be able to embrace happiness of like that. You always think that's going to be just going to, you get to be an age and like, Oh man, you know, the old man, you know, you look at Joe, your day, like my old man is really chilled out. Seems like being a good place, you know, everyone like, you know, and like that doesn't happen to anybody. They do it. You got to work. They actively do it. Yeah. I'm like they have very to make these hard decisions of being like, man, I've got to confront this thing. I've got to let this thing go. I've got to, you know, and are they even things or are they just stories you've told yourself your whole life to make sense of something that you know, no one else is thinking about? Yeah. <laughs> That's and the one that sucks. Like, I wait, know it's, it's, I didn't know what I was talking about. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I based everything on that. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, you know, if you want to get healthy or whatever oh, yeah. the word is, it's a lot of work. I've spent a ton of yeah. work on that. And, and yeah, I mean, I think and it's I've made some scary. strides. It's scary. You know, of course. Nothing, nothing scarier than changing, man. 